Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ikea. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. So I have been seeing this trend all around YouTube and it's actually an old trend, but it's resurfacing again where people are sharing what's inside of their handbags. I personally enjoy these types of videos because A, I'm really nosy and B, I like to see how people organize their handbags. So that's what I'm going to do today. I actually just recently purchased a new handbag. So I want to kind of do a review and show y'all all of the details and specs of that bag, but also let y'all know what's inside of my bag. So if that's something that you're interested in, then let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Also turn on your notification bell so you do not miss out on a single post. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out to determine which content you all are enjoying. So I just recently purchased a new bag and this one is from the brand Jacquemus. If you've been on Instagram or TikTok or really on any other social media platform, then you've probably seen this bag because it's been all over social media. So I know you probably have seen like the really tiny bag, but they also have a medium sized bag. They have Jacquemus bags in a variety of different structures. And these bags have actually been around for years, but they're really popular right now. And I'm really excited because I finally got my hands on one. So this one is the Chiquito Grand. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I'll have it down below in case you are interested. But this one is the Ch Chiquito Grand and this is in the all leather black version. So the reason why I got the grand one is because I just could not justify paying any amount of money for those really tiny bags that just weren't practical to me. They're just really small and you can, I've seen people fit like credit cards in there and that's about it. And I just felt like I wanted to get more bang for my buck. I really wanted a nice everyday bag, but I wanted something that was practical, something that I could actually use. So when I saw that Jacquemus had a larger bag in the same structure as the little small ones, I was really excited. The only problem is that it kept selling out on the Jacquemus website. So I actually ended up getting this one from Essence and I'll have it linked down below as well. Um, I purchased it from Essence and they actually had 20% off. So I just was like, you know what? I think this is for me. Um, when I saw that it was on sale, I just knew I had to get my hands on it. So that's what I ended up doing. And I'm just really happy that I ended up purchasing it from Essence because I'm not really sure if they have discounts or promotion codes on the Jacquemus website. But if you are looking to save a little bit on this bag, then I will definitely check out Essence. Um, and I'll again have that linked down below. So the reason why I'm so in love with this bag is because of the structure. I just think that the structure of the bag is so nice. And I love the handle. Now one thing I really love about this bag is that the handle is a little bit larger than most handles on handbags. I like that because I typically wear my handbag on my wrist and this gives me more space and more room to kind of move about with my bag. I also like the fact that there is all leather and it's a good quality leather. Now I am aware that this is going to be an everyday bag so there's going to be normal wear and tear on the bag but I'm okay with that because I know I kind of knew that going into purchasing it but again I still like the quality of the bag itself and I'm okay with the normal wear and tears of the bag. I don't feel like I just have to be super careful with this bag because the material is still really nice and great quality but it's not one of those handbags that you just have to be very cautious of and you have to like be super super um, careful when you're wearing it. That's not what this bag is and I wanted that. I wanted an everyday bag that I could just wear and kind of like not really care too much about it getting ruined. So in the front of the bag, you'll see that there is a handle. And then there's also down at the bottom, the Jacquemus logo, which is gold hardware. And then also on the side of the bag is where you can add your handles. So the bag does come with a strap, which is really nice because I 
personally like to use a crossbody when I'm kind of really busy or in a store that's really busy. I like to just have more security and use a crossbody. So I do like the fact that it came with the belt and it's really nice. It also has the gold hardware and the Jacquemus name is engraved in each of the buckles, which is really nice as well. So I really love this bag because of the structure itself. I think that the structure is very sturdy. Um, and one thing I really like about the bag is the fact that it snaps here in the front and it actually flips all the way back, which I really enjoy. Now the clasp or the button in the front is also um, a magnetic one. So you don't have to worry about like fidgeting with your bag. Um, it actually just kind of snaps very seamlessly, which is something that I also really enjoy. So again, I decided to get the Grand Chiquito over um, the medium size and the really small one, just because I do kind of carry a lot of stuff in my bag. And I wanted to make sure that I had enough space for every day um, items in my bag and I didn't really want to have to limit it and remove stuff from my bag so that's why I got the Grand Chiquito and I'm really happy that I ended up getting this one and when you open the bag this is where you'll find all of the items that I keep in there which is what I'm going to share with you guys in a few minutes now the way that this bag is structured it's actually wider at the bottom and then it gets a little bit more narrow once you get to the top of the bag so i try to put more items at the bottom and the base of the bag versus at the top so that it can close a little bit better but i'm going to show you all everything that i fit in this bag because it is a pretty decent size and you can actually hold quite a bit of stuff in here i personally carry a lot of items in my bag like probably unnecessary things but I'm gonna show y'all everything that I keep in my bag so first things first I have a pair of earrings in here I always keep earrings in my bag because a I'm always losing earrings and I also hate not wearing them I feel naked when I don't have earrings on so I always keep a pair in my bag and these ones just happen to be these like really extra over the top hoops like these are actually kind of heavy so I don't really wear these ones too often but they're just in there in case I need them I also have floss in my bag because why not? <laughs> um, let's see. I also have um, a charger in here. I just like to keep a spare charger in my bag with a little charging cube or whatever you call this thing. But I like to keep this in my bag because my phone needs to be charged at all times. Something else that I have in here is this memory card reader. So I got this off of Amazon and y'all, this thing has come in clutch so many times. So if you are a content creator, I definitely suggest getting one of these and keeping it on hand. So this one is a memory card reader that connects to your iPhone. I'm pretty sure they probably make some that connect to other phones as well, but this one specifically connects to your iPhone. And again, this has come in clutch so many times when I'm out and about and I'm taking pictures and I just want to upload them immediately or edit them immediately then I have this on hand I just connect it to the charging port on my phone and you can import your pictures right into your photo albums so I love this so much and again I got this off Amazon but I'll be sure to link it down below for you if you're interested all right so I also have hand cream I always keep a hand cream in my handbag Honestly, I usually have multiple hand creams in here. Why? I don't know. But I just so happen to have this one in my bag today. This one is from Chanel. It's really bougie and very unnecessary. Like, I really honestly don't need this, but I don't know why I have it. But anyway, it's a good hand cream, but most of the time I just have any old hand cream. Whatever one I could find and whatever one fits in this bag is what I usually use. But this one just happens to be from Chanel. And then I have a bunch of like sanitizing things. So I have some Lysol in my bag. I also keep these Purell wipes in my bag because I have to wipe everything down. So we keep those in here. Uh, let's see, I also have some hand sanitizer in here because y'all know COVID is still going on. And then I also have masks in here. So this one is the mask that I typically wear, but sometimes I just wear like a regular old mask that you can dispose of. So I have this one and then I also have um, some disposable masks in here as well that I can just kind of throw away. 
let's see what else is in here i also have my um little card holder which honestly i really need to get a new one because this thing is so long it fits like all my cards in here but it's just so big and unnecessary but yeah i need to find me a good card reader because this one is just too long for me i want one a little bit smaller this one is just kind of plain jane i honestly don't remember where i got this from i think i got it when i was living in texas that's how long i've had it and it's kind of dingy and dusty so i'm on the hunt for a new one so if you have any recommendations of some good card holders that are nice and that can fit in a good purse let me know down below in the comments all right I also have gum because I always keep some gum on me you gotta stay fresh at all times okay and then I have another disposable mask Let's see. I have a ton of lip products because I just feel like I have to have lip products on me at all times. So I have Carmex in my bag. Y'all, I know people say Carmex isn't good for you, but I have just been addicted to Carmex since I was in elementary school. And I always keep some Carmex on me, okay? I just like Carmex. So, sorry. <laughs> um, I also have this lip oil from LYS Beauty which I love this lip oil. It's so good, really nourishing and hydrating on your lips. I like to use this one because I don't like to have no crusty lips, y'all, okay? I like my lips to be nice and moisturized. So I like to keep this one in my bag. And then the other one that I have is from Summer Friday, and this is their um, lip butter balm, and this is the vanilla one. I'm obsessed with this. I actually have multiple containers of this I keep one in my purse I keep one in my um nightstand by my bed and I love this one so much it's really good and creamy and really really nice and soft and it smells amazing so y'all should definitely check this one out from the um from summer Fridays all right y'all so I also keep my passport in my bag you know you never know when you're gonna get flued out you know, I'm just playing. I actually don't know why I have this passport in here because I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. So I probably could take that passport out of my bag, but it's in there for now. So I also keep a travel perfume in my bag. Sometimes I carry more than one. There just so happens to only be one in my bag today. And this one is from Killian. This one is Love Don't Be Shy. Oh, it smells so good. It's perfect for spring and summer, but I like to keep this in my bag just in case I need to touch up on my perfume and smell nice and fresh. I always um, like to keep some of these on hand. So that's what's in here as well. And now I'll show y'all what the inside of the bag looks like. So this is what it looks like. There's actually a decent amount of space inside this bag. Um, there is a pocket in the inside and it's aligned and I also just keep like receipts in the pocket of the bag, which I need to clean out. But yeah, in the inside of the bag, um, you can see that there is some space in there. But as I mentioned before, there the space is actually wider at the bottom versus at the top. So that's why I always try to put more stuff at the bottom of the bag versus at the top. So yeah. So that was everything that is in my um, Jacques Mousse bag right here. Again, I'm a huge fan of this bag. I really enjoy it. I'm so happy that I have it. I'm going to be probably wearing this all the time. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should, um, you'll probably be seeing a ton of looks from me using this bag because it's like my new everyday bag. So I'm going to be using it a lot. I think that this is a pretty good price point for this size and structure of this bag. And I'm really happy that I saved a little bit of money on it as well. But yeah, I'm a huge fan of this bag. I really enjoy it. I probably am going to go back and get a few other colors because they have some really cute colors out. They have like this really pretty pink color and it's also like lime green color that's really cute so I'll probably go back and get a few more colors for the summer but this one is what I've been enjoying so far and I'm really happy with my purchase so comment down below and let me know what are staple items that you always keep in your bag things that you never leave the house without I would love to know what y'all keep in your bag but that is everything I thank you all for watching this video again be sure to give this a thumbs Thumbs up if you enjoyed it also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and you can follow me on social media my handles on Twitter and on Instagram are at Ikea Alexis 
which will be linked down below in the description box. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great one and I will talk to you later. Bye!